you're on the farm now. Yes, I am. It's, it's brilliant. I like that little uh, VT there because it was kind of showed the, the contrast when we were slightly younger and uh, a little bit fresher. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy now and uh, loving life. You really life. are, aren't you? Yeah. Well, how did you end up becoming a farmer? What happened? What was that moment? Um, well, I mean, it, it wasn't quite a moment. It did take a little while for me to get <laughs> my head around it. Yeah, I just I, I looked more into farming and what I could do and how I can make the best use of the space. And, and here we are a couple of years later. So what have you got on the far farm? How many, how many animals have you got? So I've probably got about 60 pigs now. <gasps> um, I've got 170 turkeys, I've got <laughs> six chickens, and I'm hoping, hoping to get some more as well. Some more chickens? Not, well, not more chickens, but more livestock. So, uh, so maybe some sheep, maybe some goats. Yeah. How fantastic. A couple of cows. <laughs> Just a couple. You need a few more than two cows. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll nice see. It's heard. a lot of maintenance. A lot of maintenance. <laughs> so we'll see. No, but you're actually doing a TV show for CBeebies about this as well. Yes. So uh, um, I've got a new show um, co presenting alongside the, a girl called Storm Huntley. Um, and it's for CBeebies, as you say. It's called Down on the Farm. Um, and it's really, really good because I'm so passionate about the outdoors and about farming. You know, I really see the benefits. Um, to our society in general, but also obviously to our children. And I've got kind of one of these sayings that our children are going to be the future. They're going to grow up and be the future of the food industries and so on. And if they don't understand where their food comes from, then we don't really have much ch uh, you know, chance or hope of, of sustaining that food industry, which, you know, as we know, is, is billions of dollars and billions of pounds even. So, um, you know, I think it's a really important message, but this is kind of just grassroots stuff. So we're just trying to introduce kids to farming and being outdoors and growing things and understanding about where their food comes from. Lovely idea for a show, though, as well. It's brilliant. You know, as I say, it kind of engages the, ki engages the kids, you know, and, and you just saw from the little boy, he's so excited to be part of it. And, you know, for him, that's obviously a family farm and, and he's always been involved with it. But for so many kids, especially, you know, where I grew up in, in South London, they don't get to experience that, you know. So for me, it's about trying to educate them, yes, but also give them something that, you know, it, 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 uh, broadens their horizons, really, and, and helps them get into something that's a little bit different from their normal environment. And you presenting now, Marvin presenting. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness me. Uh, now, obviously, you would keep mentioning family. Family is very mm. important to you. Your beautiful little boy, Ace. Absolutely, yeah. He's, he's brilliant. He's almost one now. I think the, the sky's the limit for him, really. You know, um, I want him to be whatever he's happy with. Uh, and he'll definitely get himself dirty on the farm at uh, the appropriate time. But, um, you know, I, 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 for me, it's just all about experience, you know. And once he has that under his belt, you know, as I say, I hope it will broaden his horizons and, and you know, give him a different insight into life. I also read that you apparently like the idea of uh, the JLS bandmates coming in and mucking out and getting everybody down on the farm <laughs> to get dirty together. Have they done that yet? Uh, no, in a word. They <laughs> haven't done that yet. Um, I, 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 the jury's still out. I would definitely try and get them down uh, to the farm. I know uh, Marvin's daughter, Alea, she, she loves the farm, so I can definitely rely on her for some help. Now, something else you're going to be doing, rugby aid. Yes, obviously it's all in aid for... To aid of sorry rugby for heroes so it's a, it's a great um charity it's something that i'm very passionate about as well um and i think it's it's going to be a great game um and i'm looking forward to being part of it so you played rugby in the past though it's not something new to you is it yeah no no no. i mean um i grew up sort of playing schoolboy rugby and i played at surrey and uh played at school as well and i've got a few pl friends actually who are still playing so, uh, yeah. You've got so many strings to your bow. You, you were going to study <laughs> theology at university. Yes. You can sing. We saw you dancing on Strictly Come Dancing. Yes. You're a farmer. You're a rugby player. The world is out there for you to grab. <laughs> well, I'm trying to grab it one piece at a time, you know. Uh, um, do you know what? I, f I think life is about ex experiencing as much as you can, you know. And, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving life at the moment. No complaints. How lovely. Great to see you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Um, because, you know, some artists really are, like, shot out of a cannon. And, you know, l last month, you know, yeah. you were, like, playing in a club, and now you're playing yeah. in an arena.